gluteus medius is an important muscle for walking, jogging, running, or single leg weight bearing activities because it keeps the opposite pelvis from dropping during those activities. The gluteus medius helps to stabilize the side that drops, allowing the other side or leg to swing forward as you take the next step. The gluteus medius also stabilizes the pelvis during gait with the assistance of the gluteus minimus and the tensor fascia lata. This exercise that I'm going to show you is called a hip hitch. It's a very simple exercise that you can do pretty much anywhere. It's going to help to strengthen and stabilize, activating the gluteus medius muscles. And everything that you do from, from walking to running, balancing on one leg, it's going to make it more efficient and you will be less likely to injure yourself. Now, if you're already experiencing pain in your hip, in your knee, in your ankles, this uh, may help as, as a result of strengthening and, and stabilizing this musculature. It may actually help alleviate or at the very least minimize the pain that you're feeling. So let's get started. Now I have a rather large exercise ball and it's not necessary. You could use something that's the size of a basketball. But the nice thing about this is I can use this for other exercises as well. So it's very versatile. Next, we need a wall. Any wall will do or, or something that's, you know, at least yay high that you can place this ball against. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it right up on the lateral aspect of your knee or better yet, the outer leg. Now, if you struggle with balance, you've got the wall right here to lean against. You could even have a pole or a chair next to you for stability because the last thing we want to do is cause any injury uh, by, by losing, losing your balance. And for those of you, um, you know, as we age, balance becomes an issue or possibly you have peripheral neuropathy from diabetes or from chemotherapy. So you wanna be very careful to do exercises that are going to reduce your risk of falling, all right? So we're gonna lean against the wall here, ball is in position and watch, it's very subtle movement. You're gonna draw your belly button in. So think about, pulling your belly button towards your spine, keeping your head in alignment, stacked nicely over your shoulders, and you're simply gonna hike that hip up and then drop down. So it's a very small movement. I'm probably lifting my foot up three or four inches off of the floor, and you're gonna feel this activation on the lateral aspect here. Uh, these are your abductor muscles. So when you think of abduction to take away uh, that, that movement outwards is called abduction. And make sure to keep a slight bend in your stance leg because we don't want to lock that out. So I'm going to recommend that you do anywhere from 8 to 12 of these and think about exhaling up, inhaling down. I'm going to do one more. Now you may be feeling this back here, and this is your quadratus lumborum. So that muscle is shortening as you are hiking your hip up. I will show you a stretch now that you can do to stretch out. We're gonna call it the QL uh, if it's bothering you after you do this exercise. Now, for those of you who are unable to come down on your knees, you can actually do this uh, even in a chair and, and putting your arm across onto a table. But for those of you who can get down on the floor, what we're gonna do is um, get our knees about hip width apart and sit back. Now I'm gonna put both hands on this ball. And if we were to do a child's pose, it would look something like this. We'd be going straight forward. But what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So as my arms go this way, the stretch will be here. So I'm gonna shift my hips kind of off of my ankles, off to the side, and then I'm gonna allow myself not only to go forward and to the side, but also to rotate a bit. And you'll feel this all opening up in here. And while you're in this position, try and relax, drop your head and breathe nice and easy, just in and out. You wanna hold this stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds to really maximize the benefits. And it feels so good, you're not gonna to wanna to stop. And then once you do the uh, hip hitch on the other side, you'll just do the same thing. You'll, you'll shift your weight over to the other, the other side, the other side of your heels, and then reach the ball out to the side, rotate a bit, and 
do your deep breathing. So I hope that you uh, enjoy this exercise. It's going to feel great. You're going to have better strength and stability in your hip joint and know that you are taking steps to prevent injury in the future. For more exercises, check out my YouTube channel at Cancer Exercise. And even though that's the title, it's not just for people who have or have had cancer. There's going to be some great information on all kinds of exercises.